Hey folks, welcome back to Magical Diary. I am still um, working my way through this bottle here. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to, I've got my schedule for this week. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna turn the fan on because it's a little warm in here. Okay. Oh, goody, black magic. Success! Yay! I didn't screw up this time. White magic. Success! Damn, I'm good. Activity, gym. Taking gym, success. Gain one strong, one stress. After class, gymnasium. I arrive at the gym to see a haphazard collection of booths and tables and clouds of underclassmen swirling around them. Raven Darkstar from Snake Hall is with a group that appears to be the Drama Club. What a surprise. Someone else has a Save the Dragons banner. Save them from what? Ellen's already here, standing by the wall, looking around before joining the throne. Hey, you guys. Come on, you had to put your names on the form to make it official. My sign-up's over there. Eh? Virginia grabs us both and drags us over to her station. Sign it! Sign it! Alright already, let go of my wrist! Sorry. You guys sign it, I have to go grab some more people. She hurries away. Helen sighs and picks up the pen. Um... letter sign. I wait for Ellen to write her name on the form, then I sign beneath that. I'm gonna look around and see what other clubs there are, okay? Well, she likes sports. Well, why, why not let her sign up? Yeah, I guess I should, too. I wonder if magical universities care what clubs you're in at magical school. Is there a magical honor society? As Ellen and I move around the room, I see someone jump up onto the stage. Oh, goody, it's this asshole. It's Donald, Virginia's other brother. He pounds his fists on his chest a few times, then takes a deep breath. Rooms for old shoes, pouch rings, boots and buskins. He has a surprisingly good voice, strong and clear, even if the words are nonsense. Will you buy any new broom? And then Jacob from Falcon Hall stands up beside him and starts the song from the beginning as Donald does. It's a round, like Forever Jacob, but a strange one. Oh god, don't ask me to remember the tune there. After they finish singing about spools and sealing wax or whatever, the boys make grandiose bells and I applaud along with any other students who are paying attention. It's not my kind of music, but they were pretty good at singing it. Come this way to sign up for Corral. They wave and jump down from the stage. Corral sounds like fun. Eh. I'm not interested, but I follow Ellen anyway to be polite. Hello, ladies. Here to sign up for... Wait, I know you. How much rehearsal do you have to do to be in Corral? You're Urchin's roommates. What are you doing here? She said you were joining their stupid sports thing. I can't do both? Well, what if we schedule things at the same time? You gotta pick which side you're on, mine or hers. What a dick. That's rude. But Ellen just laughs. It's okay. I know how you feel. I have a little sister, too. You do? You never mentioned her. We're very different people. Jenny's not interested in magic or books or sports. She just wants to be a ballerina and have everybody love her. Is she spoiled rotten? Does she get away with everything, even if she started it? Basically. Ha! See, little sisters are a menace. One time, Urchin melted a cherry ice pop, pop bleh, all over my math workbook, and Mom and Dad wouldn't believe I didn't do it, as if I'd eat that junk. So they wouldn't spill it off, and I had to hear about it from them and my teacher at school, because she's a messy eater. Jenny used to hate it if I locked my door to study in private, and she'd stand outside and scream until Mama would make me let her in. Yeah, you know how it is. Anyway, it's cool if you want to sign up for Corral. I'd like to try it, but if it gets in the way of my schoolwork, I have to stop. Yeah, whatever. What about you? Uh, whatever your name is. Me? There's no way I'm singing in public. I think I better go see how Virginia is doing. I hurry away. Red magic! Yay! Success! Woohoo! Oh, I learned a spell. Creating a gentle breeze. What do you do? Studying! Woohoo! I'm smart. After class, dorm room. Virginia is sticking a piece of paper to the wall with blue putty. What's that? Members list. We did it! We have enough people for an official club! Even if Liz still refuses to join because I said riding wasn't a real sport. It's mostly wolves and horses, but I kind of expected that. 
Oh, Balthazar signed up too. I hope it's because he wants to play and not because he likes me. You don't like toads? Horrible Donald put real toads in my bed when I was little. He was crushed that I didn't scream when I saw him. I still kicked his butt for being made to the poor toads. I don't think they like my bed. Do you guys always fight? Pretty much. He's been pulling stupid pranks on me since I was practically a baby. I thought all brothers did that. Not William. He's the best big brother ever. Lucky. Yeah, I guess I am. What should I do today? Let's see. Um, let's go to the mall. Mall? No, I... You know, I'm gonna study. Screw it. I don't have enough money for a wand yet. Afternoon. Dear Mom and Dad, I've only gotten one letter from you so far. What's happening back home? I miss you. I've met so many people here and most of them are nice, but it's not the same. My roommates and I have started a sports club. We had our first meeting today and played some pickup soccer. So don't worry, I'm getting plenty of exercise. Please write soon. Love, Stumpelda. With a sigh, I seal up the envelope and envelope and put it on my desk ready to send. It hasn't even been a month yet, but I can't help feeling homesick. I just have to take each day as it comes. I decide to go for a walk around the campus. As I'm wandering around the buildings, I notice a tall figure tossing a ball up in the air and catching it. As I get closer, I realize that I'm wrong. He's not throwing it and catching it. He's not touching it at all. William points his wand at the ball, holding it suspended in midair. With a flick of his wrist, he sends it flying upwards, where it eventually reverses course and comes back down again, to be caught when he manages to line up the tip of his wand with the falling spear. What are you doing? Control exercise. Is that hard? <sighs> it's a matter of keeping your focus, keeping your rhythm, and not using too much force, or it'll get away. If you want to show off, you do this with an egg. Makes it more obvious when you miss. You know what? Sure. Can I try that with the ball? If you really want to, catch! He flicks the ball high up in the air and then steps out of the way. I try to push against the ball while it's falling in order to slow it down, but I only send it flying off at an angle. Oops. Hey, don't worry. You're only a freshman. This is upper class stuff. You're not supposed to be able to do it. I'm special! That's true. William's a senior. Not only that, he's senior class president. He's probably really good at magic. You're better off practicing spells that are meant for your level. Especially right now, if you know what I mean. Huh? You'll find out. He winks, then goes to pick up his ball. Practice. I suppose I should get back to my dorm and think about what I'm going to do next week. Okay. Let's see. I don't have anything. Diary. Okay, cool. Uh, Spellbook, what did I learn? I learned Breeze. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break, folks, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.